visit of Seabers and Schaefer to Dakar shows the connection between the theory and the practice of the Ananerba, between the archaeological digs and the Sanskrit scholarship and the crimes against humanity. Schaefer's colleague from Tibet, Bruno Beger, would later go to Auschwitz to make face masks of Jewish prisoners. All of them protested that this was done for the purposes of science. The Allied officer who interrogated Seavers at the end of the war summed it up like this. The Ananeb's plan, he said, linked the picking of the brains of contemporary historians and scientists with the picking of the flesh off the bones of the unfortunate victims whose skulls were needed as exhibition pieces, along with those who'd been dug up from their prehistoric resting places. This was just a, a piece of, of uh, academic research, was it? Jawohl. Professor Hurt. His anatomy collection in Strasbourg had a skull collection of nearly all races and people, with the exception of Jews. The suggestion was made that there was an abundance of Jews in the concentration camps. Where were you going to get the skeletons from? The Einzelheiten sollte Professor Hirt mit... Uh... Now just answer my question with this because you know perfectly well the answer to it. Where were you going to get those skeletons from? Die sollten zur Verfügung gestellt werden äh, aus ähm, Auschwitz. At a letter which you sent to Brandt, headed the Arnenerba, marked secret. It's addressed to Brandt, Himmler's adjutant. It's your letter, witness, isn't it? It's your signature at the bottom of it. Jawohl. I'll read it out. Following the subsequently induced death of the Jew, whose head should not be damaged, the delegate will separate the head from the body and will forward it to its proper point of destination in a hermetically sealed tin can especially produced for this purpose and filled with a conserving fluid. Having arrived at the laboratory, the comparison tests and anatomical research of the skull can proceed. That was the report which you forwarded to Brandt. you have been and now stand convicted. Military Tribunal 1 sentences you, Wolfram Seavers, to death by hanging, and may God have mercy upon your soul. The officer of the guard will remove the defendant Seavers. members of the Ahnenerbe, in spite of Sievers who was executed, but all members of the Ahnenerbe became important scholars in the post-war period. And after only a very few years, most of these archaeologists became the heads of departments of new institutions. And it is an interesting aspect that one can't find pictures of SS Ahnenerbe archaeologists that were uniforms within the, in the literature. It is very difficult to get pictures of that.
Sievers was executed in this yard, overlooked by the window of the room where Hitler wrote Mein Kampf. These events took place 50 or 60 years ago now, and it would be easy to dismiss Sievers and the scholars of the Ananerba as a lunatic fringe. But that's not how they were seen by the Allied officers who interrogated them. Their report ends by saying this. It cannot be too strongly emphasized that this was not a crackpot organization. And these were men of the highest caliber, professors from the leading universities, men of the caliber of the atom splitters and the V-bomb designers, engaged in a project to rewrite the record of the past in order to influence the future course of history.